So one of the main things people oftentimes sell on Etsy is t-shirt products for their business. However, when you are selling print on demand products, there are so many other different things you can sell and really have one design that can be laid on different type of products. And by using Printify, you were able to use their whole catalog of different print on demand products, things like t-shirts, mugs, hat, tote bags, sweaters, and hoodies, just to name a few. And this really gives you the opportunity to try out different things in your store to see which ones are gonna really pick up in regards to sales. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you how to create designs that can be used on multiple products when you're selling print on demand with Etsy. I'm sure this is all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay and on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main platform that we're gonna to utilize today is Printify. Printify is my main print on demand platform I use to sell all of my print on demand products with Etsy. And the reason for that is they have a ton of different products you can use as well as different people to fulfill your products. This gives you the opportunity to sell multiple products, but still have great shipping time and production time because you have so many people working to get these products out to your customers. And what's also good about using Printify is that you can actually get started for free. Now I'm using the subscription plan because they give me a discount in regards to my products that I am selling. However, if you are new to this space and you just want to test it out to see if it is good for you, then I definitely encourage you to check out the free version down in my description box below and just start getting used to selling print on demand products with Printify. Now, all the things I talk about in today's video is still available for you if you jump on their free plan. Again, I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below if you want to use this today. So one of the first things we want to do is go into Canva and to actually set our layout for our design. And so what I typically like to do is set my designs to be custom made at the size 5,000 by 5,000. I know this works out well for t-shirt designs. And I know this is also a great layout for my other products I want to sell on my Etsy business. So this is the design we're gonna to utilize today for our multiple products with Printify. Now, again, if you wanna learn how I create designs like this and how I actually find pre-made designs, I'll make sure I leave the link to that video in my description box below. So our goal today is to utilize one design to sell on multiple products for our Etsy print on demand business. So from here, I want to go ahead and download this as a PNG file and I wanna make sure I hit transparent background as I don't want this white to show up and I want to go ahead and hit download. So now that I have my design downloaded and ready for my products, I want to go ahead and start with this t-shirt design. That is the Bella Canvas 3001 series. This is an overall great t-shirt for you to sell, just not for men, but for women as well. And so I want to go ahead and pick my print provider and they have so many to choose from, but what I'd like to look at is the price, the shipping time and the average production time. And so one of the main people I utilize is Monster Digital. I see the prices here for the shirt as well as the shirt sizes. I can go ahead and hit start designing here and start utilizing this particular print provider now from here I want to click my device and I want to go and find my particular design that we just downloaded from Canva because we want to use this on our print on demand product and we have our product here and so again everything is laid up well because we did use that 5,000 by 5,000 canvas and so everything is looking well and matching up perfectly with our t-shirt design and the little boxes that we have now for all of our products you're going to see like this little ant trail around it that's just letting us know this is where the printer is going to print that means anything outside of this will not show up so you definitely want to stay in the bounds of what is working well on the t-shirt and you want to line up everything properly now I can add different colors here for my print on demand t-shirt but in today's video I just just want to show you how to use one design for multiple products to sell on Etsy. So from here, if I don't want to select any other color t-shirt, I think we are set to go for our overall design. I can hit preview here and see what this is going to look like when my particular customer gets it once they purchase this item. And I can see everything is matching up well here. Everything is lined up the right way. And I think this is a great product for me to sell on my Etsy shop. So the next product we're going to utilize for this design is the Gildan hoodie sweatshirt again our goal here is just to use one design for multiple products and as you notice here the same information we had for our t-shirts we also have here for our hoodie as well and the same print provider we use for our t-shirt monster digital is also the same print provider i see here for this hoodie design again i have the information with the price 
the shipping time and the average production time. Again, that will fluctuate based upon what season you're selling in. I have the size of the shirt here as well as the color options. And as always, if you want to use this print provider, go ahead and hit start designing and we can start designing our sweatshirt here. So now that we have our hoodie here, you might see the same type of box for this product. And again, the whole goal here is to lay up our design properly in that box because whatever is in the center of it will be printed out. But if I have it outside of that box, it will not be printed. So if you already have your design uploaded with Printify, a little quick tool I use is Control F. And this will head over to my library to show different designs I have already uploaded with Printify. So I don't have to add anything in here if I'm utilizing the same design for multiple products. And so I'm using this Boy Mama design design for the hoodie as well and if you look here i can zoom in everything is laid up extremely well for this hoodie design now i do have an open gap space here and so one of the things i oftentimes do is just have my design go up a little bit and i can even make this a little bit larger if i so choose and everything is lined up well with the overall design now if i want to see this in preview just to see how it looks i can look at it here to see how this will look for our particular design when someone purchases it and i think everything looks well here now we still have that option to pick different color options we can go over to all colors and just select different color you know product we want to select but again in our case today i think the color white for this hoodie is going to do extremely well and this is just one more product i can add to my overall print on demand products on etsy now the next product we're going to utilize is the crew neck sweatshirt this is very popular on etsy it is the gildan 18,000, and so we definitely want to utilize our design on this product and again we can reach multiple people in multiple cases in regards to products again there's some people who only just buy t-shirts on etsy there are some people who's only going to buy hoodies and there's some people like i'm going to teach you here who will only buy crew neck sweatshirts from etsy so we definitely want to touch as many customers as possible but utilize the same design so we're going to go ahead and scroll down and pick the print provider we want to choose choose and we will go with monster digital again and we see the same options here again different type of box but still we want to make sure we upload our design to fit in this area and because we already have our design uploaded i want to hit Control f or you can go to my library and find my design the boy mama design that i already have up here and again i want to cover the top of the space as this works well for different sweatshirts i definitely want to make this larger to fit inside that box the proper way but if you notice here this is saving us so much time right having one design on multiple products is how you are able to reach multiple people if you're just really testing things out on your etsy shop or if you realize that a design is doing extremely well on one product i would encourage you to upload it to a different product and see if you can get some sales in that area as well same thing here i can go and select the color options if i want to sell this in different color products hit the preview button see how this looks on my particular product design and again everything is lining up extremely well and as you can see this is a whole new product i can sell on my etsy shop so oftentimes when you're selling things on Etsy, it's very easy to focus on t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies, but you can also focus on different products that have the same type of demand. And that is definitely selling tote bags. So we're gonna utilize this product here, the same strategy, the same goal here to upload the same design on a tote bag. And again, we want to attract a different buyer, but still utilize the same design to save us some time on the design side, but get more products up in our store and start reaching more people. So from here, the same thing as we did, I want to go down to the bottom, pick a print on demand partner. And as you can see here with this particular tote bag, I only have one print on demand partner, but the information is still here for me to utilize. If I want to make sure that the shipping time as well, the price as well, and the shipping time as well. And so everything looks good here for me to utilize this product. And I'm going to hit the same button I did last time, start designing and upload this design to this product and start selling it now. So with this particular product, we have a different layout for our overall design, but we're still gonna utilize the same space we have here with these boxes where we're gonna place our overall design. So one of the things that we wanna focus on is not put anything in the bottom of the bag here as this would not be showing when someone carry it around because obviously it will be at the bottom, but we do wanna utilize the left side of the bag and the right side of the bag as well. So because we already have our product design uploaded, we wanna definitely go to my device or hit control F. Again, pull over our design that we have here and start utilizing this on this product as well. Now, because we are using two different sides of the product here we're using the left side and the right side you can have a choice to leave one side open and blank but in our case today we want to have the boy mama on one side as well as the other side and all i have to do here is add another design and go into my devices or go into my library and pull over the same design i have but do it on the other side i can match it up well to see you know how well this matches up in regards to the same size you can spend some time doing that and getting everything dialed in but for our case today, I think that is okay for us to put on the other side of the bag. And one of the things that we want to focus on is that once it's on one side of the bag, we definitely want to 
reverse it around so that it is not upside down, right? We definitely wanna make sure that this product is the right way up in regards to this product. And we definitely want to make sure that everything is looking well. So if I want to make sure I'm utilizing my design the right way on this bag here, I can head over to preview and it will show me the front of the bag as well as the back of the bag, the left side or the right side, however you want to view it. But the whole point here is that you definitely want to spin around your design to make sure that it is properly up for one side of the bag as well as for the other side of the bag here. And I would encourage you to always go into the preview mode just to make sure your design is facing the right direction. Now, this is again, another product, same design, different product I can utilize on my Etsy shop. And again, this entire product can attract a new person on Etsy where I can start getting sales utilizing the same design. Now, the last product we're gonna talk about today is a popular product in this Christmas season, and it is the 11 ounce mug. Now, I have already done a video to share with you how to actually utilize you know, different type mugs in one listing. I'll make sure I'll leave it again in my description box below for you to learn more about that. But again, the go here is with the same as all the other products we utilize today, <laughs> use the same design for different products. And our goal today is to use this mug from District Photos. I have all the information in regards to price, shipping time, and production time. And if I want to get started designing for this product, just hit start designing now. So because I have a totally different product, I have a totally different space for me to upload my design. But again, the same type of standard is here in this product. I want to make sure I stay in the bounds of what will be printed and make sure I'm not going outside of that. Again, if I have my design already uploaded, you know we're gonna hit Control F, find our design here, and definitely lay up our design on this particular product. Now, we do have some extra space here if I want to do a full wraparound mug, like I teach you in my video. But in our case today, we just want this mug to have one center focus of our design with this product today. So if I wanna see how this product is going to look when my customers purchase it, I can always head over to preview and make sure everything is laid up the right way. This is the front of the mug, the left side of the mug, and the right side of the mug. But again, mugs with that central design is actually selling pretty well on Etsy right now. And I definitely want to utilize this in my Etsy shop. Now, again, if you want to add more things to this, you can. Again, I have a whole video talking about that full wraparound style. But in the case of today's video, again, I'm just sharing with you how easy it is for you to utilize one design on multiple products and start reaching multiple people. If I want to sell different color mugs, I have this option here where I have all these types of colors I can utilize for this product design. But I believe in the case of our design today, I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the white version and have this actually be uploaded in our Etsy shop. But again, the whole goal here is for you to understand how easy it is to attract more buyers with multiple products just by using one design. And this is really key if you know you have one design selling extremely well in your shop and you think that design can sell well on a t-shirt, mug, or tote bag, you definitely want to utilize the strategy and utilize Printify's catalog of other products to sell for your print on demand business because some people go on Etsy just to purchase one type of product. So you definitely want to attract more buyers with that same design. You know, it's selling extremely well for your print on demand products. So as you can see, utilizing Printify's catalog is an easy way for you to sell multiple products just by using one design. Now, I'll make sure I leave all the details to Printify in my description box below for you to learn more about this platform if it is best for you. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to create amazing mock-ups for your print-on-demand products. However, if you want to learn my full step-by-step -step guide of how to do that, then check out this next video here. And if you like content like this and wanna learn more about how to make passive income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.